if you need the table of your router to be flat, the best way to do that is to use the router itself to cut into the table and that will guarantee that any warpage in the table or even in the linear motion components of the machine get factored into the table as well. Um, and so I've cut out most of the area of my table indicated by the Sharpie line. Uh, I stopped a couple inches short. I can come and finish this later, but I rarely use this portion of the table anyway. So uh, I think I am good with that. I did this in two steps. My first pass was a deeper roughing pass, and I just wanted to get the general shape. It turned out to cut a lot deeper over here than it did over here, which is good. That means that my table wasn't actually very flat. Second, I did a finishing pass, which was only 15 thousandths deep, just to scratch. And that was to clean up the surface because when I was cutting with the, on the first pass, the tool pressure was higher, AKA the tool was flexing. And you can see even towards the end, it would gouge into the table a little bit. Um, and so that's why I decided to do a second pass. And I really should do a third pass to eliminate these grooves, but I don't have that much table left and I rarely use this portion anyway. And if I do, I'll probably be laying a flat sheet over everything. So I think that'll work out okay. Um, after I did the finish pass, you can still see the lines, um, and it left a lot of, say, ridges, a little bit of scrap material, so I just took the sandpaper, and that stuff comes right off, and you can still feel the lines a little bit, um, but they're not very noticeable, and I think that they're, they're very minor, probably only um, one or two thousandths of an inch, I would guess. So that's not gonna be a concern for me. Now that my table is flat, I could think about doing engraving. See before, if I wanted to do a 5,000 steep scratch, if I started on one side, by the time I got to the other side, I might be a 16th of an inch deep and break the tool. But now, I can do this um, pretty much, it's gonna be the same depth on either side and a lot, a lot, uh, it matters whenever you're doing engraving because the deeper that the tool plunges, the wider the cut path. Whenever you're just cutting out a shape, it doesn't matter so much if you end up a little deeper on one side, but with the engraving, it would really show.